yesterday we went out in this small boat and saw what I think is the most shocking sight of this trip so far. Um, I, we've been collecting a lot of plastic in the mantas, but since the mantas filter a, you know, a fairly large amount of water, maybe about 500 cubic meters, we, I didn't find, I guess I haven't found that as shocking. But when we went out in the small boat and we saw that just a little ways away from the new horizon, it, there were just patches of water just covered in small plastic particles, the size that we've been calling confetti. And we didn't have to collect them with the net, they were, we could just see them all floating there. And for me, I think that this has been, that's been the most surprising part of this trip. I didn't think we'd be able to see densities of plastic that high that we, I could just put um, a quadrat, just a square in the water and count 11 per half square meter just like floating there right in the ocean. I thought there'd be a lot less than that. So I think yesterday was the, when I started to actually get really depressed about this problem, which might make me a little slow. But nonetheless, just seeing that the waves, without even having to drag a net, the waves are actually covered in these little plastic confetti was really, really sad. And I guess the good thing is there's still animals that live in the, out here in the North Pacific Yard going about their daily business. All these really, really cool gelatinous organisms were just puttering around underneath the plastic doing their thing. But I still think that it's really depressing to have to see out here in the middle of nowhere just completely coated like that. I've never seen any kind of density of trash like that except for maybe in an inner city harbor. But yeah, so I think yesterday is when it actually really became real to me that there's a lot of plastic collecting here and that we don't even in some places need to use a net to be able to see it.